I don't discount that you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in new federal money is not going to have some economic development. My objection has been the federal government's ability to meet their promise when they don't have a track record uh, that demonstrates to me that they can keep their promise. You know, they did address in some small way the fiscal cliff, leaving the difficult decisions of cutting federal government uh, to a time in the next month or two. They still have yet to pass a budget. Uh, we have not done for several years. They are borrowing over 40 cents for every dollar they spend. They have long-term budget difficulty that needs to be addressed. And they're telling us, under all of these circumstances that are taking place at the federal level, that they can support 100% of the Medicaid expansion and that we will only be obligated for 10% after that. And the rhetoric does not meet the reality in my perspective. <clears throat> the newly elected senator from the 7th District, Senator Jason Holzman, will now be escorted to the dais by Senator Will Krause of the 8th District. Senator. Thank you, Senator. The newly elected Senator from the 9th. Senator. Pertaining to my office. Other than the compensation allowed by law. So help me God. Take your seats. <clears throat> new members, new members, we're delighted to welcome you. Please take your seats. Bla, McKenna, Munslinger, Nasheed. Senator from Mr. Pre Mr. President, I have a resolution Send and I ask it to be read. Send it forward. Group. Sater, Here. Schaff, Here. Schaefer. Here. Thank you. The, the good news is, is that the majority of the majority's um, agenda items are also the minority's um, agenda items for the year. We obviously want to push Missouri forward. There are going to be times when we disagree. There's no question about that. We obviously will have differences of agreement in tax policy and on whether or not to expand the, the Medicaid system here in the state of Missouri. And so those things we will have to work on. And I'm excited that I have a fantastic working relationship, as does the rest of my caucus, with the majority leadership and the majority caucus. And so we are ready to sit down, to talk, to negotiate, to compromise. Those are all words we understand, and we're looking forward to doing that. So I look forward to uh, working with both Senator Dempsey and Senator Richard on pushing this state forward, job creation and economic development, uh, infrastructure, all of the things that Senator Dempsey has outlined are the things that are the priorities of our caucus. And I know in particular on the Kansas City side, we are absolutely starving for new and innovative ideas, and we've got a lot of those new and in innovative ideas that have been implemented um, in the past, and now we're going to be looking at some new ones moving forward. So I look forward to working with the leadership and moving Missouri forward, and I look forward to working with the, the entire majority caucus.